two redwood trees are scheduled to be cut down despite some neighbors' efforts to save them. 23ABC's Mark Christian joins us live from the Rio Bravo area with what those residents are saying and how their homeowners association made this decision. Mark? Well, hey, Todd, just take a look at this. Now, these two redwood trees have been growing strong here for 30 years, but at the root of the problem, they're causing the septic system in one home to back up. Tomorrow morning, these two 65 foot giants are scheduled to meet the X after the Homeowners Association made a final decision. We just don't know what their due diligence was, and, and they, no options were presented. Last month, these two trees were scheduled to be cut down, but after some residents at Country Elegance in the Rio Bravo area signed petitions, the HOA agreed to look at all the options, one of them being relocating the septic tank under a driveway. So, if the only way this is going to work is to bring the trees out, we're okay, and that we're okay as we can be, but don't take the trees out and find out you didn't have to take them out when it's all done. That action prompted homeowners to get an attorney today to stop the process and address the board. The agreement was, hey, okay, we meet, we're not going to take them out yet, we'll look at what the options are, we'll include you in that, and then we'll make a decision. These two redwoods enhance the beauty for a handful of homes, while the septic tank issue only affects one home. Causing sewage to back up in her house on a every other week basis. Board members say they discussed the tree issue during their last meeting, considered all the options including relocating the tank, and made the decision based on what is best for all of the homeowners. That would require us to tear up an existing driveway, which is an exclusive easement for driveway use for the homeowner who lives there. That's not her preference. Additionally, board members say if they try to repair the tank and keep the trees, they have no guarantees the same problem won't happen down the road at a greater cost. However, Godinez says they are missing the point. They're just acting unilaterally. They may have voted on it, but they missed a step that they agreed to do to include and bring in those interested parties and the homeowners. Homeowners told me he went to the board meeting last week and specifically asked about the trees, but was told at that time that no decision had been made. Now, the Homeowner Association said that tomorrow morning these two trees will be cut down and they will replace them with other trees that will not affect the septic system. Homeowners say at this point all they can do is file a temporary restraining order. Back to you.